Griddle Master. Cooking up the good stuff. Hey, Griddle Master Joe, back at you, getting ready for Super Bowl Sunday. Um, could be for the Super Bowl, it could be for any guys partying time, just trying to come together. We're going to do wings. I got three different types of wings. We're going to be doing the garlic parmesan. We are going to do honey barbecue. And we are going to do special grilled, which is a Worcestershire sauce kind of wing that's very zesty and uh, one of the most popular here in South Florida. Um, we're also going to do like uh, White Castle burgers, little sliders. And I wanted to do a, a vegetable, I'm going to do a corn, corn on the cob. I've been wanting to show you guys how I do corn on the cob. So, um, on the griddle top, I've had this on for probably two minutes uh, on high. That's what I typically do just to get it hot. And I'm going to take the water and um, just clean this off a little bit. Um, the paper towels I'll use. I use paper towels a lot now, just so it uh, doesn't get the cotton rags all nasty. And this is just a, a quick rubbing to get, ooh, still gets hot. So, I should have grabbed my tongs. And then, of course, hey, Mrs. Griddle Master got the tongs. Okay, let me put this here and you can get them. Thank you. Remember to always get a bowl. Have a bowl ready for trash, which is what we'll be doing here. are ready to cook. So, I feel like Benny Hanna about to cook. So, we are doing chicken wings and sliders. So, I'm going to cut open my chicken. And for now, I'm just going to throw it on the grill. And of course our bag, our trash bag. And I am doing 30 wings for you today. It is not Super Bowl Sunday. It is about a month away. And uh, I'm doing this so I can get the video out as fast as possible for you guys, just to give you some ideas for the Super Bowl. Get my rags. Okay. So, we're doing chicken wings. You don't want to rush them. As you can tell, they're pretty good size. Butter garlic oil. Butter garlic oil. Love this stuff. I don't think it's really that much good for you. But what is if it tastes good? So I'm going to coat these with that, with the oil, with the butter. I'm going to mix them around. Now, keep in mind, I am on low. I am on super low. So, 
Now what I'm doing, I'm getting it in a circle. I'm going to put just a little bit more on, just as a little coating. A little bit of salt and pepper, just as a coating. Okay. Then, what is it? Handle it. Can you handle it? Got my super big bowl. Um, I don't know if you could really see how big this bowl is in uh, comparison to um, uh, how about the little bowl? Okay, and this is still a, I think this is called a um, three quart. So this is a really big bowl. Um, but I'm going to use this. as my cover, my dome. So I have that going, and I'm going to cause a little explosion in there with a little bit of water. It's going to help it to steam, help it to cook, help it to do its thing. So imagine if you're doing a, for a big party, I have 30 wings in there right now, 30 of them. And that fits in this bowl pretty well. If we were to use those aluminum trays, obviously I could probably do darn near 60 on this half and do 60 more over here, or depending on your grill size. Um, but phenomenal, phenomenal to be able to do the wings here. So we're going to let those cook. We're going to let them brown probably for about seven minutes, uh, maybe five, five to seven minutes. Uh, these, are, these are smaller than my old video. My old video, I did big, regular drumsticks and thighs. These are actually wing pieces, but they're the, the, better, the better wings. They're, as you saw, they're, they're a good size. Um, so they're going to take a little bit longer, but not as long as my old video. So we're going to let these set. I have sliders to do, and I have corn to do, but we're not ready for that yet. So we're just going to let the wings do their thing for right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and if you can tell, magically, we have our menu here listed. Mrs. Griddlemaster came and said, oh, the menu's not up. So I don't know if you can see. I don't know. I don't see you. Go like this. Oh, I see her hand. So she's here with us, in spirit and in person. So anyway, okay, so let's see what we got. It's been about five, six minutes. And look how nice that is. I didn't have to burn my hand. I just take it, boom, handle it. You get that at griddlemaster.com. Order them at griddlemaster.com. Phenomenal, not just for grilling, I use it in the kitchen, we use it in the kitchen, and if you're barbecuing with, with charcoal, you can use it there too, so. Alright, so let's mix these all up, see what we got. You just want to flip them all. I see a nice little brown going on them. Again, this isn't a speed contest. When your guests go to chomp into the chicken, you want it cooked. You don't want to be embarrassed. So we're not in a hurry. And I am going to be doing this Super Bowl Sunday, but I'm going to be doing it for a lot of people. So I'm going to have a whole grill full of wings. And then when I'm done with the wings, I'll have a whole grill full of sliders. And when I'm done with the sliders, I'll have another full grill of wings. And when I'm done with the wings, you get it? Yeah, that's how it's going to be.
Okay, so we flip them all, get them back in that nice round, give them a little more butter, just a little bit that time. Um, since I flipped them, I'm going to go ahead and salt pepper them one last time. A little pepper. The salt disappeared. I could not find it. Okay, a little bit of salt. And without burning ourselves, we'll get everybody in the pool. As the wife says, love it. It's there. It's so easy. So we're going to let this go now. Again, another five, seven minutes. And, um, and we'll come back. And then we'll start on the sliders. We'll start on the corn on the cob. The corn on the cob. Oh, the corn on the cob is going to take literally probably five minutes. Maybe, maybe six, seven, but it's real short. So that's the last to go on. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I'm back with you. It's been about five minutes. I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna get started on the uh, on the sliders. Um, you know, Royal um, White Castle. They do those five holes so that they could steam and everything could come up. But we're gonna be able to steam. Um, what I'm telling you is I'm not going to do the, the five holes. You can do that if you want. Um, I don't even know if you know what I'm talking about. If you watch some of the videos online, you'll see that they... Oh, Kara's here. Remember Kara was the puppy? Well, Kara's not a puppy no more. She passed Trisha. Kara's a big girl. But Trisha is right here by my side. Oh, and Kara is too. So what we're going to do is we are going to spray, we're going to spray a little bit of cooking spray, give us our non-stick. Remember this is all on low, real low, and actually I'm about to jump the gun a little bit. Onions. A lot of onions. This is, I did have eight sliders. Okay? Eight sliders here. So, I did one medium onion. I probably could have did two. You can come on out, Mrs. Griddle Master. What's that? Don't step on Kara. Kara's right behind me? Yes. Alright, so we're going to let those cook up, burn up, crunch up, what they typically do um, for the sliders is don't put the, uh, the buns right on there. I want to add a little more flavor, so I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Worcestershire sauce on each one. Just a little bit. Let's see what our wings are looking like. I'll go ahead and eat it. You want them to steam up? There you go, they're steaming. All right, this should show a little better color. Nice.
Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna do three different kinds. The honey barbecue, the garlic parmesan, and the special grill. The honey barbecue and the garlic parmesan, we're gonna put that sauce in like they do at a lot of the restaurants after they cook them. So put them in a bowl and they'll flip with the sauce in there. So that's what we're doing for the honey barbecue. We have our honey barbecue. We have our garlic parmesan right here. The special grill, we're gonna put off to the side. We're gonna put like 10 of them off to the side. But I'm still wanting the chicken to cook. So let's leave that there cooking. Let's go ahead and see how our hamburgers are doing. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and flip them. Beautiful. Now I'm going to put them in groups of four. Why? Because that's how I have my buns set up. Look at all the onion. So a medium onion was good. I'm happy with that. Get them all turned the right way. Alright, we'll let that cook just a little. Get the onion off. Now, the trick. Corn on the cob. These are still kind of frozen. So, what do we do? You know Griddle Master Joe's always trying to think outside the box. So, we're going to steam it a little. And butter it. And cover it. So, I'm going to move our burgers over. That way we have room. For our corn. I'm going to take a couple paper towels just to wipe off around here. Go ahead and get rid of some of the grease a little bit. I'm going to use my tongs just to save my fingers. So again, you guys ask, how do you get rid of the grease? Well, we have time, but we're not, if you're cooking where you're going a thousand miles an hour, the food's probably not going to come out very well. So there, just a little bit of maintenance, and we're back good. And now, how do we rotate the corn? We just slide it there, I just rotated them all. Wings are looking really good. I am, like I said, I'm going to now separate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So, right there, I'm going to take these, just move them over here. Make sure all this is on low. We don't want um, the corn. I want to slide the corn. Okay, the corn. I want to slide the corn over, so I'm going to just, again, 
Get rid of some of this grease. I'm going to roll it over. There's the rotation. Add the butter. That's it. Okay, we're close to eating. Special grill. That is Kara. I don't know if you can see Kara somehow. Maybe your head. Kara, go. Kara. Go. One. Go. Yeah. I don't like to do the whiskers here too soon. Because on my last video, a lot of the peanut gallery, you know, those, some people, you know, they're, oh, you burnt your chicken. No, we didn't burn the chicken. It's the Worcestershire sauce taking on. Plus, if I had proper lighting, it would illuminate this, so probably what you're seeing is darker than it really looks as well. So let's get the buns on. I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to put the cheese. on the top. Let's twist, mix our whiskers here. See, look at that. That's not burnt. That's the whiskers here on there. But if you want to talk trash, talk trash, but it's okay. I get to eat good food all the time. That's why I'm so big. I'll do one more dose. And then when we're done with the whiskers here, we're just going to flip that in a, a um, buffalo wing. Just a real thin, but very thin buffalo wing sauce. And that's it. Okay. If Mrs. Griddle Master would mind getting three plates or five plates. Let's move our corn. Oh, Lisa. The Griddle Master plates. Let's see how we're doing with our corn. And just light it over. I would just rotate them all, them, just to see um, if we cook on higher temperatures. Sometimes, and we leave it for too long, it, it can um, brown or or actually like burn part of the corn, which actually has a lot of flavor doing that. But I was just looking to make sure all of all of it was cooked well, and it looked fantastic. Now Trish is in my way. So we'll put our tops down just for a little bit. I'm going to 
take our sliders, I hope. Flip them. Beautiful. Um, as Mrs. Griddle Master will put olives on them as many as you want. I watch many as I touch the dog. I love it. Fantastic. I'd even be willing to put some more cheese on it, but. You want pickles on this? Yes. Pickle, pickle them up. Okay. Again, here we go. What do we do with the mess? Just take our bowl. That's it. Wipe around the plate. And then use the paper towel. Nice. Oh, we need to um, dab up. I'm hoping you're going to see this from And some mustard. Okay, I'm concerned about these. Done. So, we're going to take these. And I need, I need three mixing bowls. I should have them in my, just a little, my bowl. Please, Kara, go. Chris is smart enough. Okay, there's two. Yeah, give them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the covers on. Wow, hot. Okay, let's go ahead and slide our corn over, and actually we're going to pop it off, and there you go, there's the nice little, little brown marks I speak of, we're going to go ahead and butter it up for the last time, we will salt it. And put it in a bowl. So actually I could use one more bowl. Okay. And we'll just put a little bit more butter just so we can mix in the bowl. Okay. So there's our corn. Special grilled. done. Whatever your favorite buffalo wing sauce is, just, uh, just a little bit. If I had to guess what I'd probably dumped in there 
a quarter cup. Nice. We'll take half of these. Okay. And our garlic parmesan. This one you want to coat a lot. I'm hoping this is showing up on the camera up top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my shit. Okay, and then we have honey barbecue. So, in that amount of time, we have three different types of wings, sliders, and corn on the cob. And I am actually going to be filming in a little bit. We're going to be doing some additional stuff for the Super Bowl. Some, some nice rings. I think it's a taco ring. Um, we're going to do a breakfast ring, maybe. And we're going to do brownies, a special kind of brownies, on the griddle top. So this will be part of the video, I think, but um, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you can see. Um, can they see all of these from up there? Yes. Okay. So you've seen me play them. Um, I'm going to take some pictures, and we'll show them now. And hope you've enjoyed it. Griddle Master Joe signing out. Well, Griddle Master Joe here with Mrs. Griddle Master. We just got done chowing down. And uh, we had the sliders. Um, let me see one of the sliders, Mrs. Griddle Master. Wow, we ate four sliders. Two for Mrs. Griddle Master and two for me, but to show you how it looks is phenomenal. And the cheese is up underneath. The onion, Mrs. Griddle Master and I, we like the onions burnt. I don't think you could burn them enough to make us happy. So they were they were cooked phenomenally for us. If you like your onions um, less burnt, obviously you don't have to do that. 
Um, the corn. The corn is here, and the corn has those marks that I was telling you about. Mrs. Griddlemaster, did it taste burnt at all? No. What do you have to say? Anything about the corn? It's good. I liked everything a lot. Was the corn juicy? Juicy, buttery, salty, cooked, good, perfect. It was. It was extremely juicy. Um, when you when you when you cook on the griddle top and you put that dome over top of it and you're squirting that and, and you don't have to have the butter garlic sauce. You can uh, I've used just water and that squeeze butter. Um, it does the same thing. Um, it, it, it helps hold all that moisture in there and it stays in the corn. And when you bite, wait till you try it. And, and just being able to roll it around, you know, is, is excellent. Excellent, excellent. So now let's move on to the wings. We did three different types of wings. And um, the first wing I, I went for was the special grill because, again, it's, it's so deceiving. Um, let, let me see the plate, Mrs. Grimmess. It's so, so very deceiving because if you look, it looks burnt, but there's no burnt. That is the Worcestershire caked on in different areas. And then the flavor of that buffalo wing sauce in just a little bit, it just, it, it, it takes it over the edge. It, it's fantastic. So uh, we're eating and I waited till so Mrs. Griddlemaster had one of each wing, and then she had two of each wing. And I asked her, so which one is your favorite? And and she feel, she feel well, which one is your favorite? The uh, garlic parmesan. The garlic parmesan. But that B-dubs, that's, that's like uh, your buffalo wild wing sauce. Um, garlic parmesan. Fantastic that, that the flavors just explode in your mouth. And then how could you go wrong with, with honey barbecue? Come on, honey barbecue. It's honey barbecue. Everybody likes honey barbecue. So um, that's what we're doing for the Super Bowl. Anyway, Griddle Master Joe, Mrs. Griddle Master, we are so happy to be able to do this for you guys. Um, go to griddlemaster.com, look for our griddle top that uh, we manufacture custom made for your grill so you don't have to go buy a new grill just measure and we'll have it deliver, delivered right to you um the handle it's fantastic product so you don't burn yourself griddle master joe mrs griddle master we're out